Did you know that the average person types about 8,000 keystrokes per hour? Now imagine producing even more content while significantly reducing that number. That's the power of co-typist. It's like giving your brain and fingers superpowers. And I can't wait to show you how it works across all your favorite Mac apps. Picture this, you're at your desk staring at a blank document, fingers hovering over the keyboard. The cursor blinks, taunting you. Sound familiar? We've all experienced the frustration of slow typing and writer's block. It's a common issue for writers, students, and professionals alike. Consider how much time we spend on repetitive typing tasks. Those 8,000 keystrokes per hour I mentioned a second ago, many of them go towards retyping phrases, fixing errors, or searching for the right words. It's like running on a typing treadmill. Lots of effort, but limited progress. I once worked on a complex coding project where I found myself repeatedly typing the same function names and code snippets. My thoughts raced ahead, but my typing couldn't keep up. By the day's end, I was mentally drained with little to show for it. This experience highlights a crucial problem. Typing can hinder our creativity and productivity. When we focus on the mechanics of typing, it's harder to engage with our ideas. Our brains split between thinking and, and the physical act of, of typing, leading to mental roadblocks and disrupted thought flow. But what if we could bridge the gap between our thoughts and the words on screen? What if we could reduce typing time and mental energy, allowing us to focus more on the content? Well, that's where Cotypist comes in. It's a tool that acts like a writing partner, anticipating what you'll want to say next. Imagine typing a few words and having the rest of the sentence appear almost magically. It's about freeing up your mental resources to focus on your ideas. Cotypist has the potential to significantly improve productivity for anyone who spends considerable time typing on a Mac. Whether you're writing scripts, drafting emails, or writing a novel, it can help streamline your workflow. Before I go much further, some viewer is going to assume, since I'm talking positively about a product, I'm getting paid for this. So for that person, no, this is not sponsored. Daniel, the author, doesn't know I am doing this. I just found the tool and have really enjoyed using it because we've all dreamed of having a writing partner who can read our minds. But how does Cotypist work? Can it truly understand and predict your intentions? And how does it integrate with your favorite Mac apps? Let's explore these questions as we dive deeper into this fascinating tool. Cotypist acts as a writing assistant, using AI to predict what you're going to type next and offering suggestions to help complete your sentences as you write. I was skeptical at first too, but Cotypist has some unique features that set it apart. What makes Cotypist special is how it works across all of your Mac apps. Whether you're writing notes in Obsidian, drafting an email in Spark, or filling out a form on your web browser, Cotypist is there to help. Getting started with Cotypist is surprisingly easy. The installation process is straightforward with no complex setup required. In just a few minutes, you can have Cotypist up and running on your Mac. Once installed, you can customize trigger keys for completions. For example, I use the tab key to complete the next word and tilde to complete the full text, which is usually like three to eight words. Here's a quick example of how Cotypist can save you time. While drafting a newsletter about AI tools, I started typing, this week, I discovered a tool that's going to change, and Cotypist suggested the rest of the sentence pretty accurately. What would have taken a minute or less to type was done in a fraction of a second. It's about maintaining your creative flow without getting bogged down in typing mechanics. Cotypist uses Llama CPP as its backend, meaning all processing happens right on your Mac. There's no sending your data to the cloud, so privacy concerns are minimized. It's fast, secure, and operates directly on your computer. Now, to be fair, it's not always perfect. Sometimes Cotypist might not activate completions when expected, which can be frustrating. But overall, the time and mental energy it saves outweighs 
these occasional hiccups. In our next section, we'll take a look closer look at the AI power in Codetypist. We'll explore how it works, the trust factor in machine-assisted writing, and the different AI models available. It's an interesting dive into the technology behind this writing tool. So Codetypist harnesses AI language models at its core. These models, trained on vast amounts of text, predict likely word sequences based on learned patterns. It's a more advanced version of predictive text, offering different AI options to suit various needs. Codetypist provides a range of AI models, each with unique strengths. Quen 2.5 excels in speed and efficiency, making it ideal for quick completions without taxing your computer. Llama 3.2 balances performance and capability, handling more complex writing tasks while using moderate resources. Gemma 2 offers extensive language capabilities for those needing more advanced features. I've spent considerable time testing these models with Olama, finding that each has its optimal use cases. Currently, I just default to using Quenda 2.5, but I hope for easier model switching in the future, perhaps with automatic task recognition. A standout feature of Codetypist is its local processing on your Mac. This approach enhances privacy and response speed, providing peace of mind when working on sensitive projects. However, it's important to recognize that these AI models aren't infallible. They may occasionally suggest irrelevant content or misinterpret context. The key is to view them as collaborative tools that enhance your writing rather than replace your creativity. As AI technology progresses, we can expect improvements in context understanding and user intent recognition. This could lead to more intuitive writing experiences, potentially helping with idea structuring and information suggestions. The big question remains, how much can we rely on machines for writing? Well, in the next section, we'll put Codetypist to the test and evaluate the practical usefulness of its completions. Now, trust is earned through real world performance. So I put Codetypist through its paces in three different Mac applications. I started with Spark, my email client, drafting a message to a vendor. Codetypist suggestions were accurate, capturing both tone and context. It saved me some typing time, but more importantly, it helped maintain my train of thought. Next, I tried Apple Notes to jot down some meeting notes. Again, Codetypist suggestions were on point. I even tested it in Obsidian, an Electron app, where I do most of my note-taking and research. The results were consistently helpful across all three applications. These tests showed that Codetypist isn't just about saving keystrokes. It's about maintaining cognitive flow. Each completion felt like a natural extension of my own thinking, reducing the mental friction of writing. But it's not perfect. Sometimes the suggestions miss the mark, requiring corrections. The key is to view Codetypist as a collaborative tool, not an autopilot. It suggests, but you decide. I did encounter some technical issues. The trigger to force activate completions was occasionally unreliable, which can be frustrating. And users with non-standard keyboard layouts might also face compatibility challenges. That was me with my Workman Dead layout. So what's the verdict on Codetypist? It's a powerful tool that can enhance writing efficiency and flow, but it requires active engagement from the user. Its effectiveness varies depending on the writing context and individual preferences. While not without flaws, Codetypist offers significant potential for writers looking to streamline their workflow. Codetypist has significantly improved my writing process, saving time and mental energy. It's like having a helpful writing buddy, always ready with suggestions. I did have to switch back to a QWERTY keyboard layout due to compatibility issues, but the benefits far outweighed this minor inconvenience. If you're on a Mac and interested in AI writing tools, give Codetypist a try. It's designed to assist your writing, not replace your unique voice. So use it as a springboard for your ideas. 
Looking ahead, I'm curious about how tools like Cotypus will influence our writing and creativity. Will they enhance our abilities or make us overly reliant on AI? What are your thoughts on the future of human AI collaboration in writing? I'd love to hear your perspective on this evolving landscape. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.